so uh, good evening guys i hope you all are fine there and uh, i hope my audio and video is clear to everyone okay from my side it's clear so please check your side i think it's clear okay hello ananya roy uh, hello tarun pratap uh, saik akbar hello everyone good evening guys good evening i hope you you all are fine there so today uh, we are going to start with a new topic that is mathematical foundation now uh, it's related to control system and what i'm going to teach you in this session is uh, the maths involved in control system because it's very important so i will tell you uh, which topic i will cover in these sessions so because um, uh, in the upcoming days uh, there will be four five sessions uh, uh, four five sessions that i i, I I will take and uh, in those session I will try to cover the mathematical part now which topic I will cover I'll tell you okay so stay tuned guys uh, let's uh, start the session and let's first cover the introduction part and then after that I'll tell you which topic I will cover in mathematical foundation lectures okay because it will help you in entire control system and uh, it is purely related to control system okay so this is my introduction guys and I teach almost every subject in electrical engineering and right now I am teaching control system okay so uh, uh, for those students uh, who are willing to prepare for gate 2024 or 2025 they can join this free workshop this workshop will be on 7th of may at 12:30 uh, pm and this workshop will be taken by uh, rasul chotani okay he has scored uh, all in rank 12 in gate 2023 so you can get the insight from uh, from this person and uh, join this workshop the link is given in the description below okay uh, this is all about uh, results uh, from Baiju's exam prep. Uh, so you can see that under 50, uh, there are 62 uh, students, under 10, there are 13 students. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. It's important. Yeah, it's kind of Guru Daksina. Okay. And uh, like this session and press the bell icon so that whenever my sessions will be live, you get the notification. Okay. So. <clears throat> let's start the session guys so first of all let me tell you which topic i'm going to cover in the in these upcoming sessions so uh, let me tell you about the topics first okay so the first topic that i i want to cover is wavy curve method okay wavy curve method curve method now where this method will be used wavy curve method in control system, this method will, will be used in Routh criteria, Routh stability, Routh stability. There, you are going to use this topic, okay? That's why this is important. Now, number two. Number two, I will cover uh, log, logarithmic scale, log scale or log plots. Now, where this method is going to be used, this will be used in Bode plot. In Bode plot. Okay. Now, number three. Number three, I will teach you about eigenvalue and eigenvector. Eigenvalue and eigenvector. Now, where this topic is used, this topic will be used in state space in state space okay so this topic will be used in state space and number four which i'm going to use is uh, which i'm going to teach is uh, about basics of uh, matrix matrices okay or uh, especially uh, I'll, I'll teach you about uh, transformation similarity transformation okay similarity transformation Similarity transformation, especially diagonalization. Diagonalization. So, uh, this uh, method, uh, similarity transformation or diagonalization, it will be used again in state space. Okay, there is a topic uh, called similarity transformation itself. Okay, in that uh, topic, we are going to use this diagonalization method. So, all these four things I'm going to cover in mathematical foundation okay so this is very important as far as control system is concerned you have to attend these lectures once uh, you complete these topics believe me your control system will be very simple only thing is 
you have to understand the the concept because the mathematical part will be over okay so these are the special topics that i i want to cover in mathematical foundation lectures so let's just start with wavy curve method okay so i think you all are uh, you all guys are ready for that okay i hope you you are ready so let's uh, start with wavy curve method now what is that wavy curve method why the name wave wave came from why you, you why we use this wave method wave name wave okay let's take a question let's say i have a function x minus 2 and i want to find the value of x for which this function is greater than 0 so you can directly find from there you can directly find that x has to be greater than 2 x has to be greater than 2 so you can say that x belongs to x belongs to 2 to infinity it means from 2 to infinity you can take if you take x in this range then this function will be greater than 0 it will be positive okay so it's very simple similarly if i say x minus 2 is greater than equal to 0 for what value of x this function is greater than equal to 0 so obviously you can take this minus 2 on the right side so x greater than equal to 2 you will get this answer now you have to write it like this x belongs to x belongs to 2 to infinity now you have to use closed bracket here what this closed bracket show, uh, shows it shows that 2 is included 2 point is included because if you take x equal to 2 then it will become 0 and now greater than equal to 0 is in uh, i mean equal to 0 is also included but in previous case equal to 0 was not there that's why at, at 2 i have used open open bracket okay open bracket means 2 point is not included after 2 point all the points are included okay but 2 point is not included but here in this case 2 point is included okay so uh, this is the range of x you can also call domain okay it doesn't it doesn't matter okay so this is the this is the range of x range of x is also called domain you can say okay so this is the range of x for which this function is greater than or equal to 0 okay now it this was a simple situation this was a simple situation now let's take one more typical situation let's say i say x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 for what value of x this function is greater than or equal to 0 we need to find the value of x for which this function is greater than or equal to 0 now the situation is little different in the previous two cases in the previous two cases situation was very simple this was the case 1 this was the case 2 in these two cases situation are pretty simple you have taken this 2 on the right side and you have solved it but now it's a it's a p by q type of function okay rational function we have so for this rational function for what value of x this function has to be greater than or equal to 0 for that we need to go with wavy curve method it's a simple method now how to apply this method it's very simple first of all you calculate the corner point how to calculate the corner point which point i'm calling corner point what you can do is you can put this numerator equal to 0 and calculate the value of x similarly you can put denominator equal to 0 and calculate the value of x so if you put numerator equal to 0 and denominator equal to 0 you will get one point will be 2 one point will be 3 i hope it is clear if you put numerator equal to 0 you will get x equal to 2 and if you put denominator equal to 0 you will get x equal to 3 so these are the corner points let's say let's call them corner point okay now since you got the corner point you have to show this corner point on the real axis real axis okay this is my real axis on this real axis i have shown these two points now what you need to do is now you have to draw a wave okay now you can draw a wave a wave like this uh, i mean uh, before drawing the wave first you have to check if you take x greater than 3 let's say any any value so first you have to show this corner point on the real axis now what you need to do is select any point which is greater than 3 let's say you you select x equal to 4 if you take x equal to 4 which is greater than 3 obviously and you if you put x equal to 4 in this polynomial then you will you will get that 4 minus 2 is a positive number and in the denominator also you have 4 minus 3 that is also positive it means this entire function is a positive function if you take any value greater than 3 at that value this function is positive 
so it means you have to draw a wave like this you have to start from the upper upper part because upper part is positive and lower part is negative so you have to draw a wave like this you have to draw a wave like this okay at the corner point you have to change uh, the sign it means if it is positive if it is positive then at corner point you can change it will be negative it will be positive it's very simple okay so you have to draw a wave like this okay since there were only two corner points, so at these corner points only you have to change the sign. If you are taking x greater than 3, it is positive. That's why I am starting from, from upper side. Okay. At this point, it is going negative and at this point, it is again changing its sign from negative to positive. Okay. So you can see that this function will be positive in this range and in this range. Okay. Because you can see that it is positive in this range and in this range. So the answer will be. So the answer of this question x belongs to tell me x belongs to tell me guys from minus infinity to 2 from minus infinity to 2 it's positive so you have to write minus infinity to 2 it is positive okay it is positive minus infinity to 2 it is positive and 2 you have to include you have to put the closed bracket why closed bracket because if you take x equal to 2 then you can see that at x equal to 2 this become equal to 0 and equal to 0 should also be con uh, 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 this function equal to 0 should also be included okay so x equal to 2 you have to include in the bracket union union now from 3 to infinity again it is positive so you have to write 3 to infinity okay and at 3 you have to use open bracket why open bracket at 3 because you cannot take x equal to 3 if you take x equal to 3 the denominator will become 0 function will become not defined undefined function that's why we will not include x equal to 3 point okay so this is the range of x this is the range of x in which this function is positive i hope it is clear tell me everyone is it clear or not everyone tell me guys is it clear or not everyone please tell me is it clear or not okay so i told you in which range this function in in which range of x in in which region of x this function is positive tell me everyone is it clear or not please reply tell me is it clear or not let's take one more question let's take one more question and let's say i have a function like this let's say a function is like this x minus 2 into x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 x minus 4 let's say we have this function and we want the value of x for which this function is less than 0. Okay. For what value of x this function is less than 0. This function is negative. We need to calculate for what range of x this function, rational function is less than 0. Now how to calculate that range? It's very simple. What you need to do is take a real line, take a real axis. On this real axis you have to show the corner point. And what are those corner points? x equal to 1 you put it equal to 0 no? if you put numerator equal to 0 you will get two corner point one is x equal to 1 other one is 2 so you have to show 1 here 2 here and then 3 4 3 here and 4 here so you have to show the these uh, corner point in increasing order okay i hope it is clear now so you have these corner points the the the, the, the biggest number the highest number is 4 so what you can do is you can take any number which is greater than 4 let's say 5 so first at the at x equal to 5 you have to check the sign of this function is it positive or negative so if you put x equal to 5 in this function you can easily see that numerator is positive denominator is also positive at x equal to 5 so you can say that if you are taking x greater than 4 at that number this function is positive so the wave will start you can you can plot a wave okay now you can plot a wave and the wave will start from positive and negative and it will be alternate okay so you can draw it in alternate way is it clear guys why i am starting from upper region because i told you you have selected x equal to 5 greater than 4 you have selected any value of x which is greater than 4 at that value this function is positive since it is positive that's why i have started from the upper region okay so this will be positive here negative here positive negative and positive okay so you can uh, you can draw the wave like this at the corner point you have to change the sign simple okay you have to change the sign at corner points now we need to find the range of x in which it is negative this function is negative in what range this function is negative so for that what you need to do is 
you you can see that in this range it is negative in this range also it is negative so what you need to do is x belongs to tell me guys x belongs to 1 to 2 1 to 2 and 1 and 2 and both points you have to take open bracket because equal to sign is not there okay so uh, you have to take open bracket union 3 to 4 okay 3 to 4 okay so this is the answer in this range of x this function will be negative is it clear guys was it simple tell me tell me everyone this this concept was very simple okay you can apply wavy curve method and there will be many situation where you have to apply this method now it's it's not over yet because we have to tackle more points we have to tackle tackle some some other points also okay tell me don't we have to check uh, for sign at 2 as well uh, in this particular question at x equal to 2 this function is 0 and 0 is not included this is not less than equal to 0 it is not equal to 0 it's less than 0 that's why I don't need to check at x equal to 2 in the previous question also if you want to check at x equal to 2 you can see that at x equal to 2 it is becoming 0 it is becoming 0 and 0 point is also included in the range okay you can see that this function has to be greater than equal to 0 so at x equal to 2 it is becoming equal to 0 it means it's our in, it, it's our point of interest because at x equal to 2 this is becoming 0 that's why at x equal to 2 I have taken closed bracket okay I hope it is clear tell me guys I hope it is clear okay so this is the this is the range of x in which this function is negative now up to this point everything was easy I hope you have understood every point okay but there are complexities there are some new things in, in wavy curve method let's try to understand those things okay so first of all let's say I take a function let's say I take a function and the function is like uh, x minus 1 raised to the power 2 x minus 3 3 raised to the power 3 x minus 2 raised to the power 4 x minus 5 let's say we have this function and we need to find for what value of x this is greater than equal to 0 for what range of x this function is greater than equal to 0 so we have to find the range of x in which this function is positive this function is greater than equal to 0 how to calculate that again it's very simple but now there is interesting point okay so first of all you have to show the corner points let's show the corner point so corner point is uh, I mean increasing order we have to show the corner point in increasing order so from there you will get corner point as x equal to 1 okay now at, from there you will get x equal to 3 okay from here you will get x equal to 2 so 2 I have to show it here and from here you'll get x equal to 5 okay so 5 is shown here so I have shown the corner points on the real axis now since 5 is the highest number so we have to select the value of x which is greater than 5 let's select x equal to 6 at x equal to 6 you can see that this entire function is positive this entire function is positive it means you have to plot the wave now you have to plot the wave and I told you since if x if x is greater than 5 if you take x greater than 5 then this function is positive it means the wave will start from the positive region okay so I can plot the wave and the wave will start in from the positive region you can see that okay it will start from upper side now at 5 will it change the sign will it change the sign at 5 will it change the sign look at this this expression will give you x equal to 5 this this uh, this function this function will give you a corner point which is equal to x equal to 5 okay now look at the power of this function the power of this function is 1 and 1 is odd power whenever you see odd power just change the sign it means if it is positive at this point I have to change the sign and come to 3 come to 3 now I have to change the sign because the pi, power of this x minus 5 term is odd number if the power is odd then you have to change the sign it means from positive it will become negative now let's come to this point now let's come to this point 3 now look at the power at x equal to 3 point or x minus 3 function now you can see that x at x minus 3 function this is the x minus 3 function and the power of this function is 3 and 3 is again an odd number if 3 is again odd number then you have to change the sign again okay it means from negative to positive it will become from negative to positive now come to 2 
at t equal to at x equal to 2, you can see that at x equal to 2, this function is used and the power is even. 4, 4 is an even number. Okay, so the power is even. If the power is even, you don't need to change the sign. You can directly come to this. Okay, positive, so it will remain positive. You can come like this. Is it clear? Now look at 1. Okay, look at 1. At 1, again the power is even. You can see that x minus 1 raised to the power 2. 2 is an even number. So if it is an even number, don't change the sign. It will go like this. Is it clear guys? Have you understood it? Whenever the power is odd, you have to change the sign. At the corner point, at corner point 5, you can see that the power is odd. That's why I have to change the sign. At at x equal to 3, at this corner point, at this corner point again power is odd. That, that's why I have to change the sign. But if you look at x equal to 2 or x equal to 1, x equal to 2 will uh, you will get from here so the power is even and again at this point also the power is even so the sign will not change okay the sign will not change i hope it is clear now you you may ask sir in the previous question you have not seen this why not because in the previous question i have taken power as one okay everywhere the power is was power was one one means odd power so if the power is odd then i i have i have to change sign everywhere Okay, at 4 also, at 3 also, at 2 also, at 1 also, I have to change the sign. If it is positive here, I, ha I have to take it negative here. And if it is negative in this side, I have to take positive in this side. Okay, because in the previous cases, every power was 1, it was odd. Okay, but now since odd and even power are also there, so we have to, we have to be more careful while drawing uh, the wave. Okay, I hope it is clear guys. Tell me everyone, have you understood this? Tell me everyone, have you understood this point? Tell me, tell me guys, have you understood this point? where to change the sign and where not to change the sign okay where to change the sign and where not to change the sign it's important now we need to find the range of x range of x in which this function is positive so what you can do is now you can write the answer answer is very simple you can see that from minus infinity to 1 it's positive from 1 to 2 it's positive from 2 to 3 it's positive and then from 5 to infinity again it's positive so x belongs to tell me x belongs to from minus infinity minus infinity to 1. Now, can you tell me at x equal to 1, should I use closed bracket or open bracket? Tell me guys. Should I use closed bracket or open bracket? Tell me. x equal to 1. You can see that if you put x equal to 1, numerator will become 0 and this entire function will be equal to 0 and equal to 0 should also be included. So, I have to apply closed bracket. Okay. At x equal to 1, we have to apply closed bracket. Union, union 1 to 2. 1 to 2. Now, can you tell me at 2 point, should I use open bracket or closed bracket? 1 to 2 again positive, na? but at t equal to 2 point, at x equal to 2 point, should I use open bracket or closed bracket? Tell me guys. At, at x equal to 2, should I use closed bracket or open bracket? At x equal to 2, denominator is 0. If denominator is 0, it will become not undefined function, not defined. So, I have to use open bracket at x equal to 2. Okay. At x equal to 2, I have to use open bracket. Similarly, now 2 to 3 union 2 to 3 again you can see that 2 to 3 it's positive so union 2 to 3 now can you tell me at 3 at 3 open or closed tell me guys at 3 open or closed 2 to 3 at 3 open or closed tell me everyone at x equal to 3 is it open or closed tell me will it be open or closed tell me guys at at x equal to 3 it should be closed because at x equal to 3 numerator is 0 you can see that if you put x equal to 3 this will become 0 it means the entire function will become 0 and 0 is also included. That's why at 3, I have to use closed bracket. Union, union, tell me, union 5 to infinity, okay? Union 5 to infinity. Now, at infinity, always open bracket. But what happened at 5? At 5, can I use open bracket or closed bracket? No, I have to use open bracket. Why? Because if you take x equal to 5, denominator will become 0. And the function will become undefined. That's why at 5, I cannot include that 5 point. That's why I have to use open bracket. I hope it is clear. Okay. So, this should be the answer. This should be the answer. Now, there is one catch here. 1 is included in this bracket also, in this bracket also. So, what you can do is you can merge these two, two range. Okay. From minus infinity to 1 and then 1 to infinity. And 1 point is also included. So, you can directly write this function as minus infinity to 2. Okay. Because 1 is included in both the 
both the range okay in both the uh, both this this range and this range one is included so you can combine this and x belongs to you can write it like this x belongs to minus infinity to 2 directly minus infinity to 2 union 2 to 3 2 to 3 union 5 to infinity okay so it's very simple to write i hope it is clear guys i hope it is clear so this was a very simple case and i told you how to use these powers odd power or even power okay odd power and even power how to apply wavy curve method in case of odd power and even power let's take one more question okay let's take one more question and then i will tell you a different different uh, uh, a different situation okay let's come to a next question let's say i have a function like this x minus 1 into x square divide by x minus x plus 3 let's say x plus 3 raised to the power 4 into x minus 5 now for what range of x this function is less than 0 less than equal to 0 tell me guys tell me sir this uh, as same as last sum but including square then why don't you take infinity to this sum no i have taken infinity also i have taken infinity now infinity uh, in the range i have taken infinity what's the problem in the previous question i have also taken the infinity point okay here also i have taken the infinity point only thing is sign change change of sign where the sign will change where the sign will not change if at the corner point if the power is even okay you can see that at x equal to 2 the power is even so at this two point sign will not alternate sign will not change before 2 it, if it is positive it will remain positive it will go upside similarly at x equal to 1 you can see that the power is even even power means it will not change sign it will go upside and there is no other point beyond this point in this side okay so it will remain positive in this in this range okay so i hope it is clear similarly in previous question i have done the same thing okay but in the in the previous question every power is odd every power is odd so all these corner points first you have to check x greater than 4 if it is positive then you can change the sign because at every point power is odd sign have, has to change so that's why if it is positive in this side it has to be negative in this side if it is negative in this side, it has to be positive in this side. If it is positive in this side, it has to be negative in this side. So you have to change the sign in alternate, alternate way. Okay. I hope it is clear. Don't look at infinity. Infinity is not a corner point. Okay. So I mean uh, only finite points I have to look. Okay. Let's come to this question. Please try to solve this question. Do it fast. Do it fast, guys. Let's see how many of you can solve it. Do it fast. This is an easy question. Do it fast. Try to find for what value of x for what range of x this function is less than equal to 0 tell me everyone do it fast 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 let's see how many of you can solve it easily do it fast first of all you have to show the corner points after showing the corner points you have to look at the highest point and take the value x greater than that highest point and look at the sign of the function if it is positive you have to start the wave from positive side if it is negative you have to start the wave from negative side okay do it fast everyone let's try this i think uh, time is over so let's try to solve this question okay first of all i have to show the corner point so the corner point should be x equal to 0 from here you'll get 0 point so i have shown 0 here x equal to 1 so I have to show 1 here, then x equal to minus 3, so minus 2, minus, uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, this is minus 3 point, okay, this is minus 3 point, and then x equal to 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 5, okay, so I have to show the, the points in increasing order, so there, one, there is one point also, no? x equal to 0, 0 is also there, so you have to include that 0 point also, no? now let's try to take uh, x greater than 5, let's take x equal to 6 if i take x equal to 6 and put the 6 value in this function you'll get a positive number you get a positive answer you can try this you can put x equal to 6 this is positive this is positive this is positive this is positive so the answer the entire function will be positive it means the way will start in from the upper region okay so you can see that if i take x greater than 5 the way will start from the upper region okay it is positive now at 5 Will it change the sign? Tell me. At 5, you can see that the power is odd. Odd power is there. So it has to change the sign. 
okay it will go like this now at 1 tell me at 1 so it will become negative here now at 1 tell me at 1 you can see that the power is again odd okay so it will change the sign now at 0 okay so it will become positive here now at 0 tell me at 0 you can see that power is 2 at x equal to 0 the power is 2 it means it will remain same positive it will remain positive now at x equal to 3 at, at x equal to minus 3 again power is positive you can see that the power is 4 so it, will, it means it will remain in the upper region is it clear guys is it clear so this way you have to show it so this is the wave now you can see that in what uh, range this function is less than equal to 0 so for that you can see that in only in this region it is negative so i have to take x belongs to now you can say you can write the answer that x belongs to tell me 1 to 5 okay but at 1 you have to use closed bracket okay at 1 you have to use closed bracket and at 5 you have to use open bracket why because 1 is in the numerator it will make it 0 and equal to 0 is also included but if you include x equal to 5 it will become not defined that's why we have to exclude x equal to 5 i hope it is clear guys i hope this answer is clear to everyone so this was very simple now let me give you one more uh, situation there might be one more situation that that may arise in in routh criteria that uh, where you have to apply this wavy curve method and that situation is quadratic function sometime let's say you get a function like this x square plus 3x plus 2 okay let's say this is the function and we need to find for what value of x this function is positive for what range of x this function is positive let's say we need to find that so for that we need to apply again wavy curve we can factorize this okay so if you factorize this you will get like this x plus 2 into x plus 1 and it has to be greater than 0 simple okay from there you will get the corner points now what are those corner points so you can plot the corner points like this uh, one corner point is at minus 1 okay minus 1 and the other corner point is at minus 2 okay so you'll get two corner point now if you take x greater than this minus 1 point let's say x equal to 0 because 0 is greater than minus 1 if you select x equal to 0 you can see that it's positive so the wave will start from the positive region okay so the wave will start from the positive region okay and now it will change the sign because at x equal to minus 1 power is odd and at x equal to minus 2 power is again odd so you will get a function like this okay so positive negative and positive you can see that okay if, a, if you have a quadratic function you can plot the wave like this so you can see that this function is positive in this region and in this region so the answer will be tell me the answer x belongs to x belongs to from minus infinity to minus 2 union minus 1 to infinity i hope it is clear it's very simple okay so we have uh, seen that if a quadratic function is there you can easily factorize it and directly you can find the range in which this function is positive or negative whatever but there might be some situation in which this function i mean it's not uh, easy to factorize i mean uh, the factors are not real factors are not possible it might be possible the, the quadratic function is such that you can't find the real roots okay in that situation things will be little difficult little different it's not difficult it will be little different okay let's try to understand those things let's say i have a function like this x square plus 4x plus 20 okay now you can see that you can't factorize it if you uh, if you find the uh, you can't find the corner point why not because if you try to find the roots of this equation let's say put it equal to zero and let's calculate the roots of this equation you will find that the roots are not real so you can't show them on real axis okay the roots are not real you can see that b square minus 4ac is negative here discriminant is negative so it means the roots are complex if the roots are complex if the roots are complex so roots are complex uh, roots are complex now if the roots are complex then this function will always be positive or always be negative it will it will be like this it will never because the the, the corner point doesn't exist on the on the real axis the corner point doesn't exist on the real axis that's why this function will either be always positive or always negative you have to check this function will never cut this real axis if you look at this 
this previous question now you can see that this polynomial function is like this okay this polynomial function is like this okay so it will cut at these two points corner points are minus one minus two but in this situation you will not get any corner point what does it mean it means either this function will always be positive or this function will always be negative now we have to see whether this function is always positive or always negative how to check it's very easy to check you can select at any point any single point let's say you take x equal to 0 point at x equal to 0 find the find the sign of this function if you put x equal to 0 you can find the sign of this function at x equal to 0 you can see that it is positive at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 this is greater than 0 this is positive so if at one point it is positive then at every real point it will be positive because its roots are complex so if at this point if it is positive then at all other points it will always be positive it means it will be shown in the upper region it will be shown in the upper region is it clear guys have you understood this if you have complex root remember if you have complex root then this function will never cut the real axis this function will always be positive or always be negative okay because you can't factorize it you don't have real factors so this function will always be either positive or always be negative either you have to show it in positive direction or in negative it will never cut this real axis now how to check whether it will always be positive or it will be negative the, the checking is very easy take any point any random point 0 1 2 3 4 whatever okay let's put x equal to 0 and find the sign if it is positive at x equal to 0 it is positive and we know that if at one point it is positive at other point also it will remain as positive because it will be either positive or all the point or it will be negative at all the point at all the points if at one point it is positive it means it will remain positive for all points okay i hope it is clear so whenever the roots are complex you have to think about this okay you have to think like this now in wavy curve method this is used where let's take a question let's take a question and let's say i have a function like this plus 9 into x minus 2 square into x minus 1 divide by x plus 1 rather divide by x cube into x minus 3 square okay less than 0 find the value of x for which this function is less than equal to 0 okay for what value of x this function is less than equal to 0 we need to find for what value of x this function is less than equal to 0 now how to do that how to do that again it's very simple but you have to be careful this is a quadratic function do you have the factor tell me do you have real factor can you factorize it say yes or no can you factorize it tell me can you factorize this function do you have the factors real factor tell me do you have the real factor b square minus 4ac now if you take b square minus 4ac it will be negative for this this function it means the discriminant is negative so if you look at this you don't have real factor if you don't have real factor it means you have to separate it out so now you can write this function like this x square plus 4x plus 9 into so you can write this entire function like this is it clear guys divide by x cube into x minus 3 square okay so you can write this entire function like this is it clear guys you can write this entire function like this now we want to find the range of x for which this function is negative and if you look at this function if you look at we can't factorize it but we know that this function is always positive because at x equal to 0 it is positive so for all value of x this is positive this function is positive we know that this function is positive and this product has to be negative this function is always positive and this product of these two function has to be negative to make this product negative if it is positive this function has to be negative this function has to be negative then only the product will be less than equal to zero it means you can separate it out you can remove this because there is no need for this function we have to find the range of x for which this function is less than equal to zero because it is not changing the sign 
it is always positive. If it is always positive, this function has to be less than equal to 0. This function has to be less than equal to 0 because positive sign is not changing anything. Okay. So, what you need to do is from there you can say, from there you can say that this function has to be x minus 2 square and x plus 1 divide by x cube and x minus 3 square, it has to be less than equal to 0 and you can calculate the range of x for which this is less than equal to 0. Tell me guys, have you understood it? Now, let us take one situation in which this function is negative. Let us take some other question in which uh, this is negative, okay. Let us take a one, uh, let us take one more situation and let us say I have a function like this x square uh, plus uh, 4x minus 10, okay into x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 into x square okay let's say this is the function and we need to find for what value of x this function is greater than equal to 0 for what value of x this function is greater than equal to 0 we need to find the range of x for which this function is greater than equal to 0 now first of all please tell me about this function tell me about this function can you factorize it can you factorize it tell me everyone can you factorize it? Say yes or no. Can you factorize this part? Can you factorize this part? Tell me, say yes or no. Can you factorize this part? Do you have real roots for this function? b square minus 4ac. You can check the discriminant. Okay. You can check from discriminant. Okay. b square minus 4ac. b square minus 4ac. So, you will get a negative discriminant. So, you can't factorize it. You will have complex root. You have complex corner point for this function. It means this function will always be positive or always be negative. We have to check. We have to check whether this function is always positive or always negative. So what I can do is I can just separate this out and separate this function out. And we know that this function, if you put x equal to 0, you can see that this is negative. If at one point if it is negative and this discriminant is less than 0, if discriminant is negative and at one point if it is negative then all the point at all point it will be negative okay so this function will be negative all the time this function will always be negative okay for all value of x from minus infinity to infinity this function will always be negative okay now tell me if it is negative then what about this function so that this product become positive if it is negative then what about this so that the product of this function will become 0, greater than or equal to 0, positive. Tell me guys, this function is always negative. We found that. This function is always negative. Because at x equal to 0, it is negative. So for all x, this function will be negative. Okay? This function will be negative for all value of x. What about this function now? If it is negative, it should also be negative. So that negative into negative become positive. Okay? Is it clear guys? So what I need to do is, from there I can say that x minus 2 divide by x minus 4 into x square it has to be negative it has to be negative is it clear guys okay is it clear because this function is always negative to make this product positive if it is negative this function has to be negative okay so i can say it like this now from there you can calculate the value of range of x i think it's easy peasy now tell me everyone tell me is it clear or not now you can find the range of x, okay. So you can calculate the corner point. One corner point is 0, one corner point is 2, one corner point is 4, okay. Now you can draw the wave. So tell me, if you take x greater than 4, let's say x equal to 5. So at 5, this function is positive. So the wave will start from the positive side. Now at 4, you can see that the power is 1. If power is 1, change the sign. It will become negative. Now come to 2. At x equal to 2, power is again odd. Odd, odd power means change the sign. It will become positive now. Okay. Now come to 0. At 0, power is 2. Even power. So it will remain positive. Okay. But we want the negative range. So the answer x has to be, tell me what should be the range. Now x belongs to, tell me x belongs to, in which range? 2 to 4. Okay. So 2 to 4. But on which point? closed bracket will be there. At 2, you have to take closed bracket. Because if you take x equal to 2, numerator will become 0. But at 4, you have to take open bracket. Okay? Because at 4, the denominator will become 0, the function will become not defined. That's why you have to take open bracket at 4. 
okay so this will be the correct answer okay this will be the correct answer i hope everyone has understood this point tell me guys is it clear or not is this point clear or not tell me everyone is this point clear or not now where this concept is used this concept will be used in the route stability criteria okay in route criteria especially in route criteria we are going to use this concept okay in route criteria we are going to use this concept what are that route criteria i will teach you later okay not now because uh, it's uh, after stability and under stability we will teach uh, i'll teach uh, route criteria we will understand route criteria and there i will i will tell you how this method is used okay uh, because uh, in route criteria in route array the first column you have an array okay in that array the first column has to be positive or has to be negative all terms of this first column either has to be positive or negative in this first column all terms there should not be any sign change okay so there you have to apply this method wavy curve method okay so i think this information is enough as far as control system is concerned but there can be other situation also i mean there can be advanced situation like this uh, you can take modulus also na? you can take mode of this and there also you can apply the wavy curve method so there can be some other complicated situations also but i don't want to go into those complicated situa situations because up to this point everything is enough for uh, as far as control system is concerned okay so i think it's time to stop this wavy curve method now the next thing is the next thing is log scale and log plots okay so in the next class we will try to understand log scale and log plots okay that will be used in body plots that will be used in body plots okay so this concept will be again very important is it absolute stability measurement tool actually it is a stability measurement tool that wavy curve method it is a stability measurement tool and it will be used in route criteria okay so that's why i have taught you so that i have not uh, so that i i mean it will save my time when i will teach you route criteria i will not repeat this method i will only refer the wavy curve method so you have to understand what is wavy curve method so directly you have to see that and then uh, we can apply that this method and we can solve for uh, route stability okay so i hope it is clear in step function is to same no no step function is a different thing okay step function is a different thing i'm not <laughs> teaching about uh, step function okay so anyway guys i hope uh, you understand uh, you understood all these concepts uh, which i have taught you in today's class so in the next class which is on tomorrow at, at the same time in that class we will discuss about log plot and logarithmic scales okay so that i will teach you in the next class so stay tuned and don't forget to attend these five six classes which are coming in the upcoming days uh, so that's all for today's session i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like this session and don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever my sessions will be live and don't forget to like okay there is one more thing uh, that i want to tell you uh, that is, uh, we have uh, one mobile app so go to the google play store there you'll find mobile app byju's exam prep so you you can install that app and uh, there also i will take uh, lectures on control system network theory machines power system power electronics analog electronics okay so uh, you can attend those lectures also and you'll be benefited okay so that's all for today's session thank you for your patience thank you for your interest see you tomorrow take care bye